what is going on guys it's your boy Sister here bringing us in a photoshop tutorial continuing with the channel perk series so this is version two on how to make your own overlay my version one was about four to five months ago i'll link it in the description just in case you want to see it but that style was kind of like you know at that time which is really cool and of course you know people you can stick to that style if you really feel like it but now i started like to move on and do more like i guess cleaner more layer style just like simple clean but like almost professional like you know styled uh, overlays and I feel like a lot of people have been really enjoying them, like they've been purchasing them on my cell phone, and they're like, hey, here's a uh, tutorial on it. Well, here it is, guys. So make sure you guys leave a like on this video. I'll say like 300 likes, and I'll, I'll, I'll just be so thankful. Of course, I am thankful. Also, thank you guys so much for 28.4K. We are so close to 30K, so if you guys have any friends that are interested in design and who don't know who I am, please you can refer to them because I promise you I'll take good care of them, okay? So I really do want to say appreciate that. I really do appreciate that. So happy holidays to all you guys. It is the month of December, of course. But anyways, uh, so today's going to be, uh, be a video on Mount, like how to do these overlays. And I'm going to show you these three examples here. I also have it on purchase as well on my sellfy.com, so it's SOHQ. It's for $10, three new uh, fully editable PSD overlays. I'll show you guys right here. Also, the example we're going to be doing for today's video. So we have this one here. Uh, you can see it's just done by either the pen tool, uh, some really nice clean layer styles, and either the rectangle marquee tool or the rounded uh, rectangle tool here. And something like this or this one or even this one. Simple enough, just pen tool work and just some simple layer style work. So let's get going. So of course, don't forget 200 likes on this video equals secret down below. I mean, a little giveaway will be linked in the description below at 200 likes. So please leave a like, of course, if you guys want to. And also, I just want to say, can we hit 300 likes? You think it's possible? Simple, you know, I'm just saying. I'm just, you know, I'm just not putting on pressure. But uh, all right, so let's get going, guys. It's going to be simple enough. We're going to start off doing, I'm going to do an overlay where it kind of like looks like this one right here. Uh, oops, not this one. Uh, this one right here, simple, simple stuff. I'm, I'll do a little bit of a little, uh, I guess it is a different example though, but here we go. So what I like to first start off with is a nice little ruler in the middle. Uh, I just press Control H to review my uh, to show my ruler. You can press Control H to unhide and hide it, but you don't you're not gonna have it at first. So to simple, get enough a, a nice little ruler in the middle. You just press Control R to even bring the rulers up, or go to View Ruler. And what you do is just click to the left, to the right, like so, and then you just like, you know, kind of like eyeball where the middle would be, like over here, and then you just go simple slow, and it should snap right in the middle. It should say like, hey, boom, boom, there you go, that's the middle. So that's how you guys know how to center your uh, um, your overlays. So of course, also file new, let me just show you guys the uh, dimensions really quickly. For some reason, I'm pressing the space button on my keyboard. You saw that moving? But um, yeah, so it's 1280 by 720 pixels, and I have my resolution about 200. Uh, reason for that, this resolution thing is kind of like it's sizing and also just quality wise. I just like to have that feel more comfortable. 200, so that's what I have here, the little document here. All right, now we can get going. All right, so we're going to do here, so I'm going to press U on my keyboard or the rounded rectangle tool, and that's what I'm going to start off with. So I'm going to make a new layer, and we're going to use this tool here. And why is it being derpy derp? There we go. All right, so we're going to take this tool here and just make a nice little box on the top. Like so, box on the top. You guys have those things, box tops? Just saying, I don't know why that randomly came to my head. Well, we, I have those, I actually collect them as a kid for school and be like, hey, make sure you guys collect all the box tops. All right, we're done. Anyways, so we're gonna double click this really quickly. What this does, it changes our color and we're gonna change this to a nice dark gray just so we can put some layer styles on, it looks really cool. And we're just gonna simply press okay. And then after this, we're gonna make it a little more longer, pressing control T and then sizing it like this. That can do and then holding shift and moving it so it becomes in a straight line all right now we can press Control h and get rid of those rulers for now and what we can do also do is right click rasterize this layer and we're going to name this layer middle because this is our middle uh overlay piece so what we're going to do now we're going to add some layer styles onto it so we're going to double click on it and we're going to go to inner shadow and change our distance to about zero I, want, I always say to about zero i don't know why i say that change it to zero i like some of you guys have been catching that you guys are like what are you doing i'm like chill out dude chill that's how, I, that's how I imagine you guys speak, speaking, apparently. All right, anyways, we're going to go to ch uh, choke in our size. We're just going to mess around with this a little bit. And let's just say I'm going to put this to about 18. I'll put our size about 12 and our distance about zero. And then we're going to change our stroke, uh, you know, color, I guess, also. Or actually, just click on stroke. And then we're going to change this sizing to, I'll say two. I'm going to change this to white. So that means we're going to change our background really quickly. I didn't really think about that. We'll just double click on it use the color overlay. I want to change it to a nice, simple color. We can just see our uh, two colors. So this, eh, that's fine, whatever. Just a different color in the background. So now with this, 
we're gonna go ahead and just start off something new. We're gonna do these little tabs I have over here. So we have these little tabs here. I kind of got this idea from like ESPN overlays or some like sports overlays. You guys kind of see this little like this look to it. Uh, we're gonna show you how to do that really quickly. What I did was I simply just went over here and I'm just gonna just close these down. And I'm gonna make a new layer over this uh, middle piece right here. We're gonna press P on our keyboard. And then we're simply just gonna make a simple, uh, this P keyboard by the way is the pen tool. We're gonna make a simple design just like so. And once we do this, we're gonna right click Fill path, drop down, use color, and then we're gonna select this white and press OK and press OK again. Now, once we have this, uh, we have this little random box here. We have to cut it out perfectly. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on this middle piece right here, and we're gonna go ahead and press W on our keyboard for the magic wand tool. We're gonna select this middle piece now and then right click, select the inverse. So, what, so what that does is you can simply see it selects everything around it, so everything in the middle will be saved. So now we can go back to this piece right here that we just did this little uh, white square on and press delete on our keyboards just like so and it makes a perfect cutout. So we have like kind of what we have over here. So with this, we're going to right click and rasterize this layer. Uh, we can actually want to back it up first. So we're going to make a control J to make a duplicate and we're going to call this backup. So I'm just going to call it BO for some reason or definitely BU. There we go. Backup, we're going to hide that and we'll call this middle again just like so. And then with this, we're going to rasterize this layer so that if we, uh, let me just show you why I'm rasterizing the layer. If I want to right click and clippy mask this, it will take the same exact, uh, I, I guess it's going to put on an overlay, like I guess an overlay style on with the effects that we have on the bottom here. And I don't want that. I want it to be clean like this. So you can either, if you guys really like this kind of style, you can just do that. But what I'd like to do is I'd like to go like this. I like to rasterize this layer. So now when I do overlay, uh, you know, right click, clipping mask it. And I double click on it to put some low, uh, some uh, gradient, you know, overlay on it right now. So I'm gonna press soft light, and then that'll be fine. And then also the drop shadow that should get that look. So we're gonna change this angle to about 180. Uh, I make sure you actually uncheck the use global light first. So uncheck this on your drop shadow. Uncheck this. Uh, what use global light means is if you would, if you would have multiple layers with uh, either like drop shadow or gradient overlay or something like that, just anything like around that, you know, you know, something like this or has use global light, uh, bevel and embos, uh, it actually messes around with every other layer so it kind of has one light source. So if you uncheck this, it'll be a lot more easier to edit drop shadows and bevel and embos and different layers because it will change in all the other ones. If you guys ever noticed that, that's why. So we'll change this angle to 180 degrees. And we will say, let's see, we'll keep that at five distance and we're just gonna mess around with our size and our opacity, we're gonna lower down just a little bit. Like so, press okay. And we kind of have these like little two, kind of see the different colors here. It looks kind of, it just looks fine. It'll, you'll see why in a second, why it looks fine. But anyways, let me tell you why I did clipping mask this. We're gonna call this left really quickly though. Uh, why clipping mask this? Because if I didn't, if I right click unclipping mask, you can see the drop shadow uh, you know drop shadow I guess you can say the drop shadow of this layer actually bleeds out and I, I didn't really like that So that's why I have this on rasterize and then when I right click uh, clipping mask it It will actually be you know no more drop shadow leaks So that's what that is So once I do this I can actually just make a nice little duplicate of this little left We have here and I press alt and shift and then move it to the right simply just click and move it to the right It makes a nice little duplicate for you guys and then control T for free transform and then right click Flip horizontal, and I just use your arrow keys on your keyboard to simply fix it and put it in place. So there we go, and then we can just call this right. So there we go. All right, there we go. So that's how we do that there. Um, so simply enough, you want to change your color to your. Actually, let's first let's do this really quickly. I'm gonna show you guys how I got this little effect here. It's like a little line, little thing, like nice clean effect. Uh, it's actually simple. You probably seen me do it before. It's the bevel and embos. If you guys watch my channel. And we're we'll gonna change our depth to about 550, our size to about 155, and then, oh, make sure you check, uncheck, uh, use global light, 90, and then change the angle to one. So there we go. And once you have this, you just change this white to a nice little gray, and then just change this black to a nice, not so, you know, just more of a darker gray. And I'm just gonna lower these opacities, and I'll say that. Looks good right there, simple enough. So 12 and 16 is what I have my opacities on for the two uh, colors here. And we're gonna press okay. And that's how I got this little simple, you know, little, uh, you know, just really clean layer style onto it. And also to change your color in the middle, if you wanna have a color in the middle, but not just black, uh, make a new layer. And it should kind of like already clipping mask below the uh, the two right and left little things here. We're just gonna call this color. And then once you do this, you just use your brush and change the color to whatever color you want. If we want it red, we'll just keep it red. 
and then simply go like this. And what I believe you should do is simply just click the middle, use the W on your uh, wand, the wand tool, just W and keyboard, and then go back to here. Actually, first right click, select inverse to right, uh, you know, just, we did this before, of course, and then go back to the color and then delete like so. And then you can see the color is now in the middle and the stroke is still saved and all that cool stuff. So that's how that works. And of course, to change the color, you simply just make a, uh, you go to the half circle right here and then go to hue and saturation and then it should be it should be clipping that to the color as well and then you can simply just change the color like this on the top bar so that's how you do that so simple enough right there you guys go to how to change the colors and stuff like that all right so now that we have this this is kind of what we had over here um so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna simply just uh we're gonna group this all together and we're gonna call this overlay and i'm gonna call it middle again i'll just put p1 for part one uh, or p there we go and then for this I have it like, I guess I'm not going to copy this one exactly, but what I would like to do to start you guys off with is I'm going to simply just make a duplicate of this right here. And I'm going to take the bottom one right here, press control T, and then I'm going to hold shift and click on the right, uh, the right top right here, and then just shrink it down like so. And we're going to give this some simple little details around it. So we're just going to use the rulers really quickly. And we will just say that right there. I'm going to take the color off this though. Boom. Simple enough, kind of looks like a pill of some sort for some reason. I don't know, that's what kind of I got from this. All right, so what I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna go ahead and make another duplicate of this. And this is just more like, just basically using these, this one thing you just did, however long it took you, and just using this to make the, the overlay itself. And we're gonna shrink this down just a little bit, like so. I'm gonna also take the color off again on this one. I'm gonna put this below both of them. And then we'll just, oops, not combine them, but put it below it. And then we're just going to move this over to this side. And I don't know why the uh, this right here kind of like messed up. Just press Control T and just make it bigger. And it should, spill, it should still be clipping mass to the middle. So you can actually just fix it yourself. There we go. Now it's fixed. And now we're going to do the same thing over here. Just hold Alt and Shift again. Move it to the right this time. Kind of like size these off a little bit more better. Just size them off just so it's kind of like more perfect. Just like your, take your time on it. And then for this right one again, I'm going to control T, make it bigger, and then fix it off just like that. So this is where I would put my like Twitter logo right here or even right here. And you can kind of see it's not, you know, directly in the middle. So that's why I would change that and take your time on it, of course. Like so, now it's more in the middle. There we go. This is where you put your Twitter or your, you know, whatever, you know, social media you want to put. So we're going to uh, change this to right wing. Uh, make sure you guys, I've been naming my layers ever since, you know, I really do works trust me and we're gonna call this bottom bar and of course if you want to make your own pre-mades this is what i would do uh, of course i have it on my pre-mades as well i actually name all my layers so you can see that there so they know where to edit and all that cool stuff uh also a little cool little tip if you guys didn't know if you wanted to make them edit something you can also right click and then change the color to whatever the little the label is right here so there you guys go a little trick if you guys didn't know that no color oh we're running like really high on time jeez all right so now with this, I'm gonna simply just do a nice little old, like a little pen tool thing on the bottom now. This is kind of like where I get my creativity on. So I'm just gonna go ahead and just do something like this. I'm gonna bring this ruler here and do something along these lines. Just do something different. I'm just doing something random. That can work. And then combine it like so. Move this up just a little bit. Right click, fill path, drop down, use color. We're gonna use this black or this gray, I mean. And then delete path. Uh, I hold I held Alt and Shift again like I did before. Right click, flip horizontal while I have uh, the free transform or Control T. Flip horizontal. That's why I have this ruler here, so now I can just uh, just like snap it right to the ruler. And there we go. And I'll just merge these two uh, layers together with Control click and then press Control E to merge together. And we're just gonna call this Pen Tool Detail or something. And then with this, I'll just move it up just a little bit. Get some little detail going. We're gonna double click on it now. Uh, curly, I'm just gonna change the color to a little more darker gray. Press OK. And then with this, I'm not gonna do you know what I did like too much with the inner shadow or anything. I'm just right, we're gonna rasterize this really quickly to change the color. And I'm just gonna use a simple bevel and embo. It's kind of like the same exact uh, settings that I had before. So 155 or uh, 550, 155, and then change this white to a gray. And then go like this. Also, don't forget to change this to 90 and one. And this actually has to be unchecked. There we go. And now it should have a simple uh, drop shadow, not drop shadow, but bevel embos here. 
and I'll just put this on soft light and there's a little bit of a detail going on here maybe it's a too dark maybe I'll just lower this to a more of a white uh, a lighter tone uh, of course you guys can play around with it. I'm just like messing around right now but of course when you guys do it yourselves please take your time on it it'll 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 freaking work out oh that's why the bevel and is not showing because I have this going on so I'm gonna copy this layer style clear really quickly the reason why it's not showing is because uh, above this it's actually still going I have to cut it really quickly so just use your marquee tool I'm gonna show you how I edit things really quickly use the marquee tool cut it about here just so I have it cut at a good spot boom and now if I right click paste it should actually have it more there we go so now I'm gonna put that back over here and you can see now you can see the bevel and a little bit more and then simple enough and we'll change this color overlay to a darker color again alright you guys get the point so there we go so that's basically how I would do these little overlays here um, that's kind of like it, I guess. I mean, it's a little bit more longer tutorial, kind of like more of a tedious way. But of course, you see, I just I just use the same exact thing I did in the, the first middle, and I use this for the detail. Um, for the, the, the ones I've done, I just use more of the pen tool, just random shapes and just covering or surrounding the, uh, the either the rectangle marquee tool or the rounded um, rectangle tool. So I really do hope you guys enjoy. I hope I didn't lose you guys at all because it's not that complicated. Uh, of course, the only thing complicated is using your own brain to actually use and create, uh, you know, or use your brain to create these cool little complex, you know, little overlays, but simple, and also it'll just really work out. Uh, if you want to expand these to, like, all the way to the left and right, you can. Um, also, these overlays do look really good for, like, people who want to play other games that are, like, you know, have things in the middle, top, middle, and you just need to see it. Simply just move it down. These, this looks fine, too, like, having things like this. So I really do hope you guys took this video and you guys just enjoyed it and you guys learned from it and you guys kind of get the basic idea on how I do mine. Uh, please leave a like in the video. Like I said, guys, 200 likes on this video because you see it down below. Don't forget to check out my selfie.com so it's HQ store uh, where I got my pre-made overlay pack for you guys to purchase your own overlays as well if you guys couldn't really do it in the video I showed you today. And of course, the stock brush pack always available for purchase for $5 and it uh, continuous stock updates every other week so you guys can just get them from your PayPal email get the updates and of course just keep touch on my Twitter twitter.com you know slash this HQ of course and of course the everything pack I'm gonna mention this really quickly everything for life for I don't know why this is actually a glitch it's not 10% off but everything for life means one purchase of $30 you get all my products for free of course all the current products and also any product that comes out of my store you also get in the email of the per uh, the PayPal that you uh, purchased the pack with and you get all the future products as well for free, as well as you get all the current products I have as well for $30, so that's a steal. Uh, so thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to tell your friends about me. I'm really close to 30K, and I want to bring out this 30K pack. Trust me, you guys want to have it. All right, I'm going to let you guys go. Happy holidays again, like I said, guys. I really, look how close it is to Christmas. I think it's like 17 days or 16 days while you're watching this, if you're watching on the first day, of course. All right, I'm going to stop talking. I'll talk to you guys later. Let's switch you out. Peace.